Hi, Clara. Um, apparently, I'm like the brightest thing that's ever happened to the world. Um, I think this is mainly because I've got a massive window in front of me, so you're just gonna have to deal with me shining like an angel. I just want to say hi. I spoke to you on the phone this morning, but I feel like we should talk to each other all the time because I kind of miss you a little bit. I thought I'd give you an update on what I've been doing because this is quicker than writing to you. So last night we had this dinner that we went to with the fellows and I had this fellow, which is like the teacher, sitting next to me and then I had one sitting opposite me and I was absolutely terrified because I thought that I was going to have to come across as really smart. I didn't want to mention the reading list because if I mention the reading list I have to reveal the fact that I still have some things to read maybe. I was really anxious about it. My actual feeling after I finished the meal was like I'm so excited for this, like education wise. As to people, like I have one really cool friend so far and like I met someone on my floor. I've met quite a lot of people on my floor. I'm hoping they're not too weirded out by me talking to myself because I think the walls are fairly thin. So the main course, guess what? Quail. That's the sort of thing that happens in Oxford apparently. Um, the chef has a Michelin star and it's his like last meal or something like that. The other thing that happened was that you got this like glass of wine. It wasn't that big a glass. There was this guy, okay, he's the butler or something and he'd just come around and fill it up. Like you'd take two sips and he'd be like, and it wouldn't even ask, he'd just be like, and fill up your um, cup for you. And then I kind of ran out of water, so I was sipping like quite a lot of wine to just, because I was thirsty. I don't know how much I drank because, I mean, I, I was alright. I mean, I wasn't drunk, thanks for assuming that. I know you're anxious about my welfare and everything. Because you can't judge it in glasses if you kind of like it's filled up all the time. So I was a bit lonely last night. I woke up really early this morning because there was some sort of alarm going on but I don't know what that was. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you managed to come and see me. I will show you my room. Oh you can see quite a lot of my room. I have like the biggest pin board at the back of my room. That whole grey bit is a pin board and I have one over there as well. And um, basically I was told that I wasn't allowed to put posters up anywhere so I wasn't allowed to put anything and this is how much space I actually have to put stuff up. So as you can see I've got like three things on. One is an invitation to my like stairway tea thing which I can't go to because I've got to go and have a library introduction. I'm getting introduced to the library. I feel quite special. Anyway, so I hope you're having a cool time and your friends aren't annoying you too much and I will see you. I don't know, maybe you'll be on Skype later. I have the internet, this is the most exciting thing that happened to me. Like, I was a little bit, like, stressed because I didn't have anyone to talk to and now I have people to talk to. I'm completely out of my comfort zone and it's not cool. I'm in my room, I have the internet. What more could I want in life? Bye!